Over the last few years, we've featured a number of promising British sprinters on Transworld Sport. Back in 2013, we met up with Desiree Henry, who was one of seven young stars to light the Olympic flame at London 2012. The following year, we profiled an 18-year-old by the name of Dina Asher-Smith, who's since become the world's fastest ever teenager, over 200 meters. Along with Asher Philip, Desiree and Dina were part of the quartet that won Olympic bronze in the four by 100 meters relay at the Rio Games. Anchoring the team home in Brazil was 19-year-old Daryl Nita. Born in Camberwell, South East London, Daryl was tipped for medal success from an early age. She was about three years old and she went to a park with my brother and her cousins. He must have put them in a race. She was only about three years old and he came home to me and he said that you've got a Olympic medalist there and she was three years old and I'm like, what? When Daryl was older, she was spotted by an athletics coach who suggested she join their local club. A few years later, she won the 100 meters at the English Schools Championships and in 2014 began working with coach Jonas Tawia Dodu. Training at Lee Valley Athletic Centre at times improved and she was selected for her first British vest. It's not, it's not more, it's not... I feel like you wake up tomorrow and you find the European Juniors is really good. Um, it was an experience, like my first proper champs, or European champs, anyway, and I came out with the fourth place. I always expected to win that competition, but I didn't, and um, I was quite upset about that. I then got the call up for the anniversary games to run in the 4x1 relay, which I was really excited about. And then after that, we actually went on to the Beijing World Championship, so that was my transition into the senior world. Daryl travelled to Beijing as a reserve in the relay and had a taste of what an elite athlete experiences at a major championships. Although she didn't get the chance to race in China, it fueled her desire to compete at the Rio Olympics the following year. At the British Olympic trials, Daryl surprised many by running the two fastest times of her career to secure a place in the 100 meters. Daryl made her senior individual debut for Great Britain on the biggest stage of all. She was distracted by the officials before she went down into her blocks and Daryl's someone where she needs, needs to be focused and clear. Now, what do I expect from a first time Olympian, never gone to a major games as an individual at a senior champs? I don't expect her to overperform, I'm a realist. Um, what do I expect this year? far better than what I, what I was expecting last year. That was actually gutted of that. <laughs> um, I learned so much from that experience though and I knew that I had to get myself prepared for the relay because there was still a job to, to be done and I picked myself up and then I was so thankful to be picked to run in the relay because after my performance I didn't really think they'd pick me, they didn't really have a reason to so when I was chosen to run on the ankle leg I was like I'm just going to make the most out of this and run my heart out. <laughs> The British 4x1 relay team were buoyed by strong performances in the lead-up to Rio, winning silver at the European Championships and setting a new national record at the London Diamond League. I knew they were in for a medal. I had no doubt about that at all and just so happy that they got that medal. That was really good, yeah, yeah. She didn't let us down. <laughs> Away from the track, Daryl has a strong creative streak. She plans to start a fashion marketing degree later this year with long-term dreams of designing her own sportswear. But it's her video blog or vlog that she's becoming known for, which gives fans a sneak peek of life at training camps and competitions. Today I filmed a vlog and I've just finished editing it. Um, I like to take footage of things I get up to behind the scenes. People always have so many questions about what is it like to be an athlete and what kind of things do you get up to. So I like to give a little insight of my journey um, through my YouTube channel, which is Daryl Nita, so you can find me on there. I love the cameras, I love filming, I love the picture quality, I love putting things together like with music and, I don't know, just the entertainment it gives on people. People love my vlogs, so it just excites me to make more. Hello, I'm with Trans World Sport today. Doing an interview. Is that your first ever marketing? It is actually. I always see them on the TV with people with big boxes on them. So I'm just with Bruce Prescott. He deserves a Transard sport. <laughs> you can see everything from a short distance, can't you? Now we're going to go and finish up the filming. Oh, yeah. sounds good. 
Now aged 20, Daryl has had a mixed 2017 to date. Whilst warm weather training in April, she suffered a grade two hamstring tear, delaying her start to the season. Luckily, she recovered sooner than expected, and when finishing second at the British trials, Daryl booked her spot in the 100 meters for the upcoming World Championships in London. After revising her best time down to 11.14 seconds, Daryl will head into the championships full of confidence and with hopes for more medal success. I'm really excited. Um, we were such a young team in Rio and there's even more youngsters coming up now, so that just gives us so much momentum going into the future. Um, I really feel like we can progress and do better, get faster, aim for gold. We can really do this as a team, so it's just about keeping us healthy, keeping us in one piece, and we can really perform on the big stage.